logistic is uh, pretty good. Um, you know, ha having uh, Julia's parents living in uh, in Torin, that's a uh, great place to be able to stay. And uh, and yeah, in the in the mornings I can uh, get up, go for a run, and uh, do some stretching. Uh, do my na uh, normal daily uh, routine before before a match and. Uh, yeah, it works out uh, good logistically. Um, me and Julia is living uh, in Poznan also, um, so when we when we're not racing in Torun, uh, we we base ourselves in, in Poznan. I like to like to get up on the alarm and uh, and get get out of bed straight away and uh, and try to get the dopamine in the in the best way possible and uh, and start the day with a run or or some kind of uh, movement. Uh, I think that's the best way than, uh, than to sit there on your phone for, for 30, 40 minutes is, uh, is no good. So WhatsApp uh, is a most uh, app I'd use a lot for communication. Uh, Instagram obviously for, for putting content on the, you know, for, for the fans and supporters who, who's uh, following me. Um, then there's YouTube uh, and probably Netflix. Uh, Julia has mentioned before and, and looking on and uh, she's keeping a track on uh, my average and stuff like this and uh, yeah uh, we go on uh, see how how we're looking in the in the table and uh, and how Torin is doing as well as uh, you know good information to, to keep track of. Before the meeting like uh, you know we do the track walk we do the we do the warm-up with uh, with our, our trainer and uh, yeah then you know it's uh, my time to, to get changed and, uh, and after this then I, I do uh, my own warm-up I've got my headphones on with some music and uh, yeah it's just uh, trying to block out the, the outside noise and um, and focus on what I, what I need to be doing uh, in the next steps and uh, yeah and then we, we sit in our pits and, uh, and visualize and, and think about the, the meeting and uh, and and how, uh, how we want to, to take a step by step. Uh, Mons, flute. That's uh, that's what I listen to uh, on repeat. <laughs> so yeah, just so any, or anything which is uh, you know I'm I'm getting a good uh, vibe off of and uh, you know get you kind of pumped and uh, and get you in a in a good mood and you know something where uh, where you kind of uh, feel the goosebumps or the hair stand up where you feel the uh, excitement and uh, and the flow starting. Actually, somebody on uh, on Instagram uh, sent me a message, and there's a song 505, um, and didn't know if I got my number inspired from from this song. Probably a day before the match, uh, we will be uh, going on the road bike, doing a little bit of training. It's nice to, if the weather's good, like to get outside, uh, you know, go for walks with uh, with Julia and, and our dog as well, it's, uh, and just try to enjoy the the kind of uh, day off but also try to get some training in, involved as well and uh, and yeah let's uh, maybe do some logistical stuff and organization as well for, for the following uh, weeks ahead. I would say uh, Klepivino is a nice place to go and eat uh, then there's like uh, mannequin which is good for like a brunch and then there's one uh, Mexican place which we like to go to eat and also this is just eating places but uh, at the same time um, you know there's a nice uh, when you go on the boulevard uh, and go for a walk there and, uh, and, and yeah take a walk chill out and that's a pretty cool nice forest, forest around here as well around the stadium. If it's a meeting like this where, uh, where it's the uh, first, first meeting and there's another meeting at 8.30 then uh, try to get home and uh, watch back my heats and uh, yeah, uh, then yeah, chill out a little bit, watch the, watch the rest of the, the other meeting which is on and uh, yeah, but uh, yeah, we get out of the shower and, <laughs> and uh, we try to, try to get the, out of the stadium but uh, there's many, many people who want to autograph and pictures which is, which is also great.